What's up, you guys? My name is Trevor Wicked. How you guys doing? Welcome to Full Circuit Friday. We are rocking through a balance circuit this week that we've gone over all week, and we're ready to get it fired up. But before we get there, I want to say hello to all the new people in the house. I want to let you know that my name is Trevor Wicked. I'm the creator of the MS. Jim, you are in the right place to learn how to move, balance, get stronger, get more coordinated, change your brain to work around the MS damage so you can restore your life and get it back. All right, so today's a full circuit. We got a lot to do. Usually during the week, we break down parts of the circuit into three parts of the circuit, or I guess four parts of the circuit, and then we rock it out on Friday, okay? So that's what we're doing today. We're not doing quite as much teaching. So if you did not, if you have not seen any of this stuff, you can go back and watch the individual pieces. Just type in MS balance into your search feature in your page and you'll be ready to rock and roll, all right? But we gotta get started, gotta get rolling. So first thing we do, first thing we do to balance on in this circuit is we, uh, we're just gonna work on weight shifting, okay? Just on weight shifting. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna shift front to back. Actually, we'll go side to side first because we're just kind of kicking it and starting it off, okay? Then we'll go front, then we'll go circle, all right? So if you have a wheelie walker, grab it. If you wanna be on the wall, facing the wall or one hand on the wall, grab it. Um, I'm gonna show you on walking poles because it's easier to see, okay? All right, here we go. So we're sitting here, we're in these poles, either down here or up top, whatever you feel more happy with. You're gonna put those poles on the inside. You're gonna put your feet just slightly outside of your hips. I don't want super wide because you're never gonna walk like that, all right? So if anything, you want about hip width, maybe a little bit wider and that's about it, okay? So all we're gonna do on this first one is we're just gonna shift weight, okay? So the entire time in the circuit, you need to keep your knees bent, abs in, pelvic tilt, blades down. Okay, ready? And we're gonna shift side to side. So we just shift and hold, and we come back. Notice I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sitting down, I'm just shifting. I'm literally keeping my body upright, sitting into that hip. Shift and hold, okay? Shift and hold, good. Shift and hold. So this gets our hips warmed up, this gets proprioception fed into our ankles, keep going. Uh, it gets proprioception fed into our brain. All kinds of happiness, okay? Friday Fiesta Neurological Happiness. Woo! Okay, so we're coming up. Sit. Good. Coming up. Sit. Coming up. Sit. And as you get better, as you feel good, hold those abs in. Lean a little bit more. Bring it up. Lean a little bit more. Good. Coming up. Lean a little bit more. Make sure your feet stay on the ground and do not roll. Lean a little bit more. Two more. Lean a little. And get out there. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the front. All right? So let's go ahead and put this leg here. We're going to do 10 leans, and then we'll switch legs. Again, as you feel better, get further and further and further into that leg. So just take a step forward like you were going to take a walking step. Okay, because this doesn't really do us a lot of good functional wise. Okay, so just take a step like a normal walking stride. So if this is your normal walking stride, that's cool, all right? You want to get your brain more safe in a walking stride. Blades down, abs in, tilt that pelvis. Give a little bit of squeeze on your back butt. It's going to help you balance. Okay, ready? And lean forward. Keep upright. And back. One. Lean forward. Find it. Find your balance. BGB. And two. Lean forward. And three. Lean forward. And four. We'll go eight. Ten. I don't want you to get bored. You know, we got to keep this train moving. It's Friday. Our attention spans are like, ah. Okay. Right there. Good. That's six. <laughs> for those of you that don't know, I don't know how to count. <laughs> Just saying. All right. Good. I just kind of do it when it feels right, you know? All right, here we go. So let's go to the other side. Now we're going to go to the left, okay? So left foot forward or right foot forward. Whatever foot you just didn't do, do the other one, okay? All right, abs in, tuck your pelvis blades down, and we lean. One, two, and back. And notice I'm either sending my hands up top or you can hold like this as well. This might <coughs> actually cause you to activate your blades a little bit more, and I like it, okay? 
three, two, and notice my, that my heels are both on the ground. They don't come off. If your heel's coming off, that's probably a little bit too much, okay? And that's five. Find your blades, get back on those sticks or in your walker on the wall, pull your shoulder blades back. It's a super duper key jam, okay? Two more. Good, and last one. And back. All right, Coolio. All right, so now we're gonna go in a circle. Okay, we're gonna mix it up, baby. Mix it up, oh yeah. So we're gonna be, feet are right at hip width. You are gonna be here, all you're gonna be doing is you're just gonna shift one direction, shift back on your heels, shift to the other hip, shift to the balls of your feet. Do not let your body weight get in your toes. So you're going balls of feet, right hip, heels, left hip, balls of feet. Okie doke, here we go. So get them out, get solid, ready, and start with the weight on the balls of your feet, and let's go to the right, one, and then back, and then left, and then center, two, back, around, and center. I have a soft bend in my knee, abs are in, pelvic tilt, three, blades are down, because you want this to be a core exercise. Let your body help you, okay, four, all the way around. Five. All the way around. Switch. Switch left. Back. Right. Balls of feet. Left hip. Butt. Right hip. Balls of toes. Left hip. Squeeze your butt. Right hip. <coughs> balls of toes. Left hip. Squeeze the butt. Right hip. Balls of toes, left hip, squeeze your butt, right hip, balls of toes. Good job, all right, cool. So now let's get into it. Now we're gonna go into weight shifts, okay? I mean, stepping balance. So we're gonna start off with front steps. So we're doing the, we're just taking it up a notch now, all right? So we were here leaning, leaning, whatever. Now we're actually gonna step and lean and then we're gonna come back, okay? Again, these only have to be about walking stride. If you wanna go a little bit further and challenge yourself, if you're feeling great, then do it. If you're on your wheelie walker, just step into the wheelie walker and back. If you're on the wall, step into the wall, find your balance, and come back. Okay, here we go. Let's start with the right leg. Lock the shoulder blades down. Ready? And go. So we step and lean. You may have come off your heel a little bit, and that's cool. Now, tip your pelvis, abs in, push back, blades down. Step, lean, find it. Tip your pelvis, abs are in, push back. Step, lean, hold it, abs are in, find your pelvis, push back. Three. Step and lean, find your pelvis, abs are in, blades, push down into the ground with your poles or your blades. Four. Step and lean. Hold it, find your balance, BGB, and back, five. Step and lean, hold it, BGB, six. All right, let's switch sides. Okay, that was your right leg, I believe, so this is gonna be your left. Or that was your left, this is gonna be your right. Okay, blades down, abs in, pelvic two. Step and lean, one, two, and back. So I like to hold these steps for a good two to three seconds to get your brain to kick in, being like, I'm okay in this position. And back. Just a step forward and back doesn't train your brain at all. It's just momentum chaos, all right? Step and lean, hold it. Find your back glute. So use this butt over here and squeeze it as your brace. That's three. Step and lean, abs are in. Find your pelvis, find your butt, squeeze it. Blades down, good. Two more, boom, step and lean. Good, I'm getting a little bit further each rep. And push back, last one. Step and lean. Good, and push back. All right, cool. So now we're going to the side, okay? So what I want is you're gonna step out, little kind of, you're not really going into a super squat, you're just kind of sitting up tall, shifting, okay? So you're, you're stepping and shifting, coming back, stepping and shifting. I like to put poles in the middle. If you're on your wheelie walker, keep your hands there. If you're on the wall, it's probably a better idea, okay, to just face sideways 
step out, come back, and then switch sides. Okay? So we're only going to go one side at a time. Ready? And step, lean. So I'm upright. I'm not leaning forward. I'm upright, finding that glute, and then push back to center. Step and lean. So you can see I got my poles helping me in the ground here, holding them back. And this way. That's two. Step and lean. Hold it. And three. Step and lean. Hold it. Four. Step, lean. So this leg is bent. This one's a little bit more straight. And five. Keep it upright. Step and lean. Hold it. You six. Good job. All right. Other side. Again, staying upright. You're sitting into your hip. Okay? This leg bends, this leg straight. Step to your right. Ready? And go. Lean. One, two, and come back. Step and lean. Two, two. Step and lean. Three. Now watch my, see my knee doing that? I got to lock into my glute. Make sure the ball of my foot is on the floor. Okay? Trevi likes to keep going. <laughs> Four, two, and push back. Step and lean. Five. Two, <coughs> excuse me, and step and lean, six, two, good job. Okie dokie smokies. Now, what we do here, we're going to be doing those compass or those clock, I could call them clock steps, okay? So you're going to go 12 clock, okay? I guess if you're going, I got to think about this on camera. So this is your, we'll go this way first. So this is clockwise for you, da 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 coming this way, and then we'll go counterclockwise, all right? So it's going to be 12 o'clock, step, 1 o'clock, step, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, rock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, rock. All right, here we go. Ready? Lays down, abs in, pelvic tilt. Now, this isn't quite as much of a lean, but you still want to lean into it. Okay, ready? And 12 o'clock, boom, and push back. 1 o'clock, good, hold it, and back. Good, 2 o'clock. And back. And notice this leg stays a little straighter back here. I use this butt for stability. Three o'clock's out to the side. And back. Four o'clock slightly back. And back. So you see, you can't get a huge lean on these backside ones. Five o'clock. And back. But you use these poles as best you can. And then six o'clock's all the way out. And back. Okay? Now let's go to the other side. Counterclockwise. All right, ready? So, 11, and back, 10, and back, 9, and back, 8, and back, 7, and back, and 6, and back. All I can hear is the, is the 50 song. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock rock. <laughs> That's fantastic. My dad would be proud of me. He was a sock hop 1950s dude. So, all right, here we go. So now we're going to go into direction changes, okay? We got alternating front, alternating side, alternating rotation, okay? You ready for this? Yo, ready for this? All right, ready? So, really important here, blades down, abs in. Pelvic tilt, as you take a step, okay, one direction, you got to lock this back glute, the non-stepping glute. Come back, switch glutes, and go. It'll help you maintain balance as you switch from side to side. All right, so we're going to go 12 on F, like 12 per set here. All right, ready? Blades down, abs in. We're going to step forward. I'll just go diagonal to kind of show you a little bit more. Ready? And one. Push back, find your butt. And two. Come back. So butt gut sandwich, literally. Butt squeezes, abs in, butt gut sandwich around your spine. Three. And back. Four. Sounds tasty, doesn't it? <laughs> and back. Five. Hold it. And back. Come on, find your blades. Let your core hold you. Six. I'm not really using these that much. You shouldn't be leaning on these a ton. Use your core. Seven. Good. Eight. Good. Nine. See, that direction change from right to left works both sides of your brain. It's all good. Ten. Good. Eleven. 
Dude, last one, 12. Good, all right, cool. So now what we're doing is we're going side to side. Now it's not just a step to the side, I actually want you to lean, come back, find your BGB, lean, come back, find BGB, like just like we just did, okay? Again, we got 12, keep your trunk upright, sit back into your hip. So it's this way, it's sit. So I'm not down here like a traditional lunge, this is more of just a side, uh, side, side, side bend, side lunge, whatever, I don't even know what it's called. Call it a sidestep lunge, I'll make something up. We'll call it the Trevor lunge. All right, here we go. Ready? So feet start at hip width, step to the side, use your pulls. Push them back towards this leg, so you have one, two, three points of contact. And set. And here, one, two, three points of contact in the same direction. I guess you have four, really. Two, and go. One, two, and push back to center. Find your BGB, don't let yourself lean forward. One, two, push back to center. One, two, push back to center. One, two, push back to center. Halfway, here we go. One, two, push back to center. Two, two, push back to center. We got four more total, let's go. One, two, good. One, two, good. Two more. One, two, good. And one, two, and good. Awesomeness. I just like these because I feel like I'm making a potion. A potion of motion. All right, here we go. So now we're gonna go rotation. So you're, you're gonna be this way, you're gonna step to the side and then come back. Did you see that? Step to the side and then come back, right? So what I like to typically do, you're here, you step to the side with this one pull and then you bring it back with you. So the pull is in the side that you're stepping with. So we'll step to the right first and rock it out. <coughs> Wait, <coughs> never mind. we are actually alternating, my fault, okay? All right, I was back a little bit. All right, so here we go. So locking those shoulder blades down, abs in, pelvic tilt, start going this way. Ready, and we step, hold, and then we pick the pull up and go. Then switch. Step and hold. Pick the pull up and go. One. Step and hold. Bring it back. Two. Step and hold. Push. And three. Step and hold. And four. If you need to put that stick out there first, you can do that too. Step and hold. Bring it in, bring it in. Out. Step and hold, foot in, arm in, pull out. Step and hold, foot in, pull in, arm out. Step and hold, foot in, pull in, pull out. Step and hold, foot in, pull in, pull out. Let's go three more. Step and hold, foot in, pull in, pull out. Step and hold, Foot in, pull in, pull out. Last boon. Step and hold. Foot in, pull in, shake it all about. All right, cool. All right, you guys, that's it. Now, the best thing to probably do is to do some pause walking. Okay? Pause walking. So we didn't cover this this week, but we, it wasn't time. <laughs> so what I want you to do is grab your poles or your wheelie walker, or you can do it along a wall, and it's called pause walking, right? So you're gonna take a step and you're gonna pause and find your balance. Get your hips underneath you so you're not leaning forward like this. So you're leaning into that front leg. Step and hold, maintaining that upright position so you're not all over the place and going forward. And even if these are little tiny steps, that's cool. Step and hold, rocking through, pause walk. Step and hold, rocking through, pause walk. Step and hold, rocking through, Pause walk, step and hold, okay? And then let's do it again one more time, okay? All right, same thing on your walker. If you're on your wheelie walker, step and hold while you're pushing your wheelie walker, all right? So if I'm here, it's just step and hold, find your balance, find your pelvis, get it underneath you. Step and hold, find your pelvis, lean forward. Step and hold, find your balance, lean forward. See why these drills are important? Step and hold, Lean forward, find
Find your balance. Step and hold, lean forward, find your balance, okay? All right, so you guys don't have time to sit here and watch me walk around for 20 minutes, but if you're in your house, do it. If you need to go outside, do it. If you, if you can and are able and are able to go take a 15 to 20 minute walk, 10 to 20 minute walk, five to 20 minute walk, whatever, go practice it. Like go practice standing upright, taking a step, leaning to that next step, and then kicking it. A lot of times what happens is because of fear, people go to take a step and then they never lean into the next step. So they're literally trying to just throw their leg forward because they're not activating this glute to push themselves forward. So they're literally, most of their body weight's kind of back on this leg. How the heck are you supposed to move forward if your body's wanting to go back? You're gonna throw your leg forward. And that's what leads to a lot of circumduction gait, hip hikes, Trendelenburg signs, all that kind of stuff, all right? So this will help you walk. Okay, cool. So you guys, thanks for being here. If you like it, give me a like. If you love it, give me a love. Happy Friday. Leave a comment if you want. And if you did not tune in to Misty Moment yesterday, oh my gosh, my wife killed it. She talked all about like what literally in the roots of commitment, the roots of motivation. And it's not what you think. It's not what you think. It's pretty cool. So she did a great job yesterday. So if you didn't see that, check it out. And uh, it, it'll, it'll change your world, man. I was fired up yesterday just from listening to her in the other room when I came home. So, love you guys. Have an awesome Friday. See you next week.